Hey there friends, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to export a single track within a project here in GarageBand. Let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a very, very simple project here in GarageBand. And what we wanna do is we want to just export a single track. Maybe this is a vocal track or an instrument track that you're just sending over to another producer or somebody else you're collaborating with. And basically you just wanna send them that individual track. Now, if you're using Logic, the larger version of GarageBand that's available, you can have a, what's called a solo button. You're able to just click that solo button. Unfortunately, GarageBand makes this a little more difficult in that you have to isolate the individual track that you want by muting everything else. So as you can see, this can get a little complicated if you've got you know, tons of different tracks. So for our example, let's say we want to export this specific track down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and I'm gonna mute using this little button right here, all the other tracks except for this one. And what I've just done now is isolated this specific track. Now that it's the only one that's gonna be playing in the mix, what I can do is I can come up to my export function and that is going to be on the share menu up here at the top and you can see that we can export the song in various formats. I'm gonna click export song to disc. And then basically you can say track you know, three maybe, or whatever you wanna call it. Maybe, maybe this is vocals. And then you can bounce it in these different formats here. Obviously you can choose quality and then click the export. Again, if you do it in this format, make sure you remember where you are exporting that single track to. What it'll do then is it'll bounce the entire song with just this isolated so that the end result is just that single track layer. Friends, I hope that helps. Again, it's a little bit complicated because there's not a solo button, but again, as long as you don't have tons of tracks, all you need to do is mute the others and then walk through the export process. If this has helped, hit that thumbs up button. Let us know we're making helpful videos and stay tuned. You may, you may want to subscribe because we're making a bunch more GarageBand tutorial videos and those are going to be released really, really soon. Thanks again for watching.